Hello everyone, this is Felix from JM Wolf, and today we're having a look at what I like to call object state machines or a way to define state machines using objects. So what are state machines? Now I recommend you go check out my other tutorial finite state machines where I explain what state machines are and how to create them simply using Game Maker Studio. Now there's a link to it in the annotation above or in the description below. So how is this system different? Well, we'll have a basic state machine object which won't actually hold any of the states. Instead, we'll define them using objects. So our main state machine object will have a state variable which will hold the object index of our current state. We also have events which will use event perform object in order to call the code from an other uh, object's event. So let's have a look at a simple example where we have our state machine move left and right. We will have a, our first state, which is O state right, moving our object towards the right using uh, x plus equals 15 inside our step event. We will also have a check to see where we reach the edge of the room. We want to change our state to O state left, which is the next object we are defining where we have pretty much the same thing inside the step event, moving our object to the left. And if we reach the edge of the room, we change our state to O state right. So now we can have a look at our state machine. We create a new object, name it O state machine, and add a create event in which we state that our state is equal to O state right which will initialize our state machine such that we start with O state right as our state. We can then add the step event where we call event perform object. Our object is the object stored inside our state variable and EV step and EV step normal are used to check uh, the EV step normal uh, event. So this is the result. We have our object move left and right, changing state when it reaches the edge. So it's working as expected, but surely you want to add some more events. Now, the thing you have to remember is that if you have other events inside your states, you need to include them inside your state machine and make sure to call our function such that our state is executed. So what is the advantage of such a system over a monolithic state machine like we've had a look at before? Where first of all, a monolithic state machine has very large objects with every single state written into them. It also means poor code reusability as uh, you either have to use inheritance or copy code over. And actually inheritance isn't such a great thing as it actually means very simple inheritance trees uh, where you're quite limited. On the other hand, object state machines like we just had a look at mean smaller self-contained state objects and much smaller uh, sections of code to look at. It also means that your states can be used by multiple objects. There's no reason multiple objects cannot reference the same state object. And it also favors composition, which is better than inheritance in that you can have uh, more complex systems. Uh, a single state machine can actually inherit from multiple uh, states rather than using the normal inheritance tree where each state machine could only inherit from a single other state machine. So let's have a look at taking this system further because yes, there is a more powerful system and that is the actor action model, which is the natural progression from this system. Now I made another video about it and you can find a link to it again in the annotation above or in the description below. Now this is it for this tutorial. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it or learned something, please give it a like and subscribe to see more. If you have any questions, the comments is the place to do it. It's also open for discussion about uh, this system or any other kind of system. And I'll be seeing you guys next time for some more Game Maker tutorials.